So this is the Wild Spire Monsters of Salan box. It's a little bit smaller than I expected. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than a shoe box. It does not have a preview of the art. So they're all loose in the box. Um, as you can see, I'll be pulling some of these dark gray ones out because I think those will be easier to see. Um, the dragon does require a little bit of assembly and there are 5e stat blocks for all of the monsters. Here's the dragon assembled. It's pretty hefty. Everything fits together tightly. Um, if you have to force it, you're putting it in a bad angle. Uh, the only thing I'm not real happy about is this base is pretty thin. It feels like a different kind of plastic than the models. So they give you four of each models, one in each one of these colors. Um, the red actually photographs pretty bad, but it's not as... Um, like translucent or ill-defined as it shows up on camera. It actually looks more like the purple does. Um, and uh, the detail's pretty good. I like that there's textured bases. Um, I like that they come in the four different colors so that you don't have just a big pile of gray. Um, I'm really excited about, you know, I don't have a lot of merfolk. Um, you can never have too many goblins. Put those into view. Um, you can never have too many goblins. There's a female goblin and a male goblin and a goblin chieftain. Um, there are these uh, Hellborn tiefling type ladies. There's Araignees, which are a type of devil, um, which I have angels, but I don't have Araignees, so that's a good good mix. You know, having four different dragon wormlings here, that's going to be great because uh, you can color each one of them a different chromatic color. Um, this guy actually is better. I thought he was going to come out real whimsical. Um, but this guy's a lot better than I was expecting. He's, uh, you know, reasonable size. Um, he's pretty fun riding on a, on a frog. Um, and then the Rat Kings. Um, the Rat King here I'm pretty excited about too. Because he's like a rat... A giant rat made out of rat swarm. It's pretty fun. Um, <clears throat> lizard folk is a general useful one. And then some of these other ones are a little whimsical for my taste, and I might try to unload them. We've got a little barrel golem. Maybe that's good for a Halloween. There's a little tree stump guy and a mushroom guy. And then this cat's a little cartoony also. Um, I think Wildspire also has a line of um, Townsfolk Minis. I think there's a similar cat folk in the towns, Townsfolk Minis. And then there's this little pug with a saddle, which is super awesome. Um, so maybe I can, like, patch a goblin or a halfling onto him or something. Size comparison. Um, these guys are all kind of humanoid. They should all be about the same size. Um, I think the merfolk's a little small, a little bit tiny. Um, and then these ones that are painted up, I believe, are also Wild Spire Minis. I got these all out of a advent calendar, um, so they're in scale. You can see their poses aren't quite as dramatic as maybe some of the bigger brands. Um, the modeling's a little more, a little more basic, but the the detail of the molds is actually good. I think any lack of detail is actually from the models and not from the molds. I think the quality is pretty good. Um, I think the art is getting better. Um, you can kind of see the difference between the cat folk and uh, the hellborn tiefling back there. Um, this is an old uh, bent. Um, this is an old Hasbro human. So you can see that's you know pretty much in scale. Um, the bases are maybe a little small on the newer um, the newer wild spire. Maybe a little small on the base depending on which one. It looks like the bases are maybe a little inconsistent. Um, <clears throat> so here is, um, bring the Hellborn up because she's a good representation there. Um, here's Wiz Kids, and, uh, I thought I had a second Wiz Kids here. Um, so, you know, that's in scale. That's what most people are going to be used to is the Wiz Kids minis being in scale. Here are some cool mini or nots. We got some massive darkness, um, some Wrath of Kings, and Besieged. 
Now, Cool Meteor Knot tends to be more heroic, so they tend to be a little bit on the bigger side. Um, so I'm not too worried about these looking a little shrimpier because it's the Cool Mini that are a little chunkier. Um, the skeleton is a Fantasy Flight Rune Wars skeleton. Um, and then I have a couple, I don't have any Fantasy Reaper Bones humans, so here's a couple Reaper Bone uh, Chronoscape Future. So you can see they're all, you know, all these 20x to 35 millimeter, they're all about the same. So these fit in just fine for your tabletop, your D&D Pathfinder Frostgrave. Um, <clears throat> all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, I'm probably not going to keep all of these. Um, I might try to stuff them into advent calendars or, um, you know, give them or sell them to friends or something like that. But uh, definitely keeping a bunch of goblins, dogs, and monster the, the monsters. Um, I'll probably just get rid of the whimsical stuff. But, you know, you can always use three or four Aaron Yeas. They come in packs. Um, I, I don't have any merfolk at all. Uh, and that this pirate turtle with the cannon on his shoulder, that's just, that's just plain fun. So you can see the details, how deep it, his uh, detail on his shell is. Um, I really like the corset or the abs on this um, Hellborn. It's very detailed. Um, the armor on the Aranyes, you can see feathers. Uh, if I can get my camera to focus, you can see feathers there. You know, there's a little bit of flashing, but that's pretty thin. Thin stuff. You can see the face. Um, you can see some details in the armor. You know, this one was made a little flat. You know, the arms are mushed into the torso for molding, um, just to keep cost down. But these are a great value starting out.